Hello friends. Thought I'd show you a picture here of old Dookie. I've changed the wheel appearance again. I haven't I haven't painted the rims, which is something I need to do, but for the time being, I've got the flat caps on it and the beauty rings. I'll try to get a little wider shot where maybe you can see what I'm talking about. These beauty rings are kind of unique as they have the Chevrolet bow tie embossed in the beauty ring there. These are old junk beauty rings. They, I've cleaned them up about the best I could. I took them in on a trade a couple of two or three years ago. And uh, like I said, they're, they're, they're not as shiny as they were when they were new, but they are what they are. And it kind of matches this old truck pretty good. As you, I had the truck kind of cleaned up. I was kind of excited about it here a week or so ago, but we've had so much rain. Uh, matter of fact, we had a little bit of flooding, so it's been kind of wet around here. And the weatherman has finally said that we're just about out of the drought. It's hard to believe, isn't it? As much rain as we've had, they're still saying we might be getting out of the drought finally. I was going to show you a unique feature that I've been trying to update this truck. And, you know, you, how vehicles are. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I've installed a telephone in the truck case I get broke down any place. I can call, maybe call my wife or call for help from one of my friends. Ah, just kidding. This is an old phone that I've had for years, and it's kind of unique. I like the color of it. It's kind of a peach type color. And for all you youngsters out there that don't know what this is, this is what we used to talk on all the, all the time when I was growing up. Call your girlfriend, call whoever you want to talk to, grandparents or parents, whatever. And, uh, you know, you, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So you took the receiver off. And you dialed the number of the of the person you need to talk to. And if you want to talk to the operator, as you can see, it says operator right there on the phone. And the best I can tell, I've looked behind it here, and I'm seeing that it's a, got a 3-61-3, which I'm thinking this could be a 1961 phone, maybe made in March. I don't I don't know that for sure, but the color of it along with the shape of the phone has me thinking you know this could be a 1961 phone which makes it not as old as me but it's getting pretty dang close missed it by four or five years so anyway i just thought it's pretty neat to show that show you this i found it out in the garage a while ago when i was putting some stuff up and it just kind of hit me and i thought well a lot of youngsters i know my grandkids probably never seen anything like this so and speaking of grandkids and friends and stuff, I just wanted to say to all the people that have subscribed to my channel, thank you. I appreciate it. I enjoy talking and meeting new people through YouTube and getting suggestions. And I've had quite a few over the last few months. I haven't had a YouTube channel a year yet, but I've made quite a few friends and had quite a few comments on a lot of different topics that I try, I try to be diverse and not just cars and trucks, mostly cars and trucks, but I try to talk about different things and things that went on in my life and stuff. And I'm doing this a whole lot, this YouTube channel, no particular reason, just maybe just so my grandkids will know a little bit more about their papa when they get older, they'll See, you like cars and trucks and old phones and walking canes. And if you look at my other videos, you'll see all the stuff that I think are interesting. And I hope they're interesting to you. I appreciate you listening to this YouTube video. Remember, I'm on Facebook, too, as Primered Quarrels. And you can check me out there. My wife manages that for me. And I appreciate it. And I'll see you later. Thanks a lot. See you later.